Good morning, dear students. And today our lesson is for the grammar unit 13 for grade 8, and this is the old level curriculum new hello. In this unit, we will talk about direct speech and indirect speech. Direct speech and indirect speech or reported speech. First, what does it mean, direct speech and reported speech? Direct speech, this is what I said or what did someone say? What did someone say? And the reported speech is what did someone hear and form it or inform others and inform others about what did someone say. First, I want you to look at these examples. So here, read the sentence. Jack said it's raining. Jack said it's raining. So here, what can you see exactly in this sentence? Here, I can see something which is very important in my situation. I can see speech marks. Speech marks. Here, Jack said, comma, then I start speech marks. It's raining. And what did Jack say is already written between these two speech marks. So here we can call this form is direct speech. We call this form direct speech. This is direct speech. And here, look at this one. Jack said that it was raining. So, I hear Jack when he said that sentence. I hear Jack. Okay? And then I went to someone else and I told him, Jack said that. So here it means that I am informing, I am telling someone else what did Jack say. So I told him, Jack said that it was raining. So here in the report of the speech, you cannot find the speech marks. You cannot find the speech marks. This is the first thing. And the second thing, here I use the word said, then, that. Then I use the word that. So here, mm, I can use it or not. So here, that can be used or not. It's okay. It was raining. Look at the red words. Is. I changed it to be walls. I changed it to be walls. It was raining. And no more speech marks. And no more speech marks. Don't worry, we will talk about how, how can we change tenses from direct speech to reported speech. But now let's read another example. Sarah and Lisa said. Sarah and Lisa said. We are at home. Of course, this one is direct speech. Of course, this one is direct speech. But here, how did you know that it's direct speech? It's according to the punctuation of the sentence. According to the punctuation of the sentence. So, when Sarah and Lisa talked together, they said we. They said we because they are talking about themselves. So here, we are at home. But when someone else is talking about Sarah and Lisa or informing what did Sarah and Lisa say, I mean like this, Sarah and Lisa said that. I told you before that this word, which is that, can be used or not. It's okay. It can be used. In this case, it can be used or not. Sarah and Lisa said that. Oh, oh, can I say we? No. Sarah and Lisa said we. But here, there is someone else who is informing. What did they say? So, I, I cannot say we. I heard Sarah and Lisa. I heard Sarah and Lisa saying this sentence. And they said we. But can I, can I use we when I inform someone? Can I tell him Sarah and Lisa said that we or they? Because I am talking about Sarah and Lisa 
So here, Sarah and Lisa said that they oh, and here R is already in present, so change it to be the past. Sarah and Lisa said that they were at home. They were at home. Another example. Oh. Tom said, I came early yesterday. So here I have three words which have different colors. I, blue, came in red color, yesterday in green color. So here, does it mean that we will do something in you? Yes, of course we will do something in you here. We will have another form. We have to change the form of this one. So here, look at this one. Tom said that. Who is talking here? Tom. Oh, is he singular or plural? He's just one person. Boy or girl? Boy. So here Tom said I. So when you inform someone else about what did Tom say, can you say Tom said that I or Tom said that he? Because I am talking about someone else. I am talking about Tom. So here Tom said that he came. He came or had come. Uh, what does it mean? It means that if you have the past simple tense, if you have the past simple tense for direct speech sentence, okay, you can keep it as it is for indirect or change it to be past perfect or change it to be past perfect. So here you can say, Tom said that he, look at the red color, came still the same. Or you can change it to be past perfect. Both are correct. Both are correct. Tom said that he came or had come early. Oh, what about the green word? Yesterday. So I cannot use the same word for the report to the speech. This is one of the words that we have to change in the report to the speech. So he had come or he came early. Yesterday will be the day before, the day before, as you can see it, the day before. So I don't use yesterday for report the speech. I change it to be the day before. And now look at this example, another one. Sam said to Sarah, I will go to London tomorrow. Selma said to Sarah, so how many persons here are talking together? Selma is talking to Sarah. So here I didn't say Selma and Sarah said, I said Selma said to Sarah. So here Selma was talking to Sarah and then someone heard them and went back to tell someone else about what did they say. Selma said to Sarah, I will go to London tomorrow. Uh, look carefully. Selma told Sarah. Selma told Sarah. So here, if I have this word, said to, I must change it to be told. Selma told Sarah. What did she tell Sarah? That. So here, it's necessary to use this word that. So here you must use this word when you use told someone told someone else that. So that here is very important to use. It's necessary. It's necessary. Selma told Sarah that she would. Oh well, I change it to would. So, will go, will be, would go to London. What about this word? Tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is one of the expressions that we have to change. We have to change in this case. So, it will be the next or the following day. When I tell you tomorrow, it means the following day or the next day. So, here, this is the important speech. So here now, how can we change tenses? A 
about tenses. I think you check the examples carefully and all the present simple or all the present all the present tenses we change them to be past tenses. Present continuous, past continuous. Present simple, past simple, and so on. So here, what does it mean? Does it mean that we have to change some tenses? Yes. Some tenses that we must change. We must change. Right here. Look at this table carefully. Here we have direct speech, and the other side we have reported speech. If you can look here, you can see present simple for direct speech. I change it to be past simple. Past simple. And here the present continuous, I change it to be past continuous. I change it to be past continuous. And here the present perfect, I change it to be past perfect. So here, if you can see present, present, present for direct speech, for the report of the speech, you cannot find the present tense here. But be careful. In some cases, you have to use the present simple as it is. When can you do this? When I tell you, Tom says. I didn't tell you, Tom said. Tom says. So here, the verb, the main verb, the main verb of the sentence is in present. So you can keep the present as it is. You can keep the present as it is. But here in this case, when you start talking about, when you start talking about the verb and the like Tom said, Jack said, Omar said, you have to change the tenses like this one. So here, you cannot use the present in this case. You have to use the past. And if it's simple, it will be simple as well. Continuous, continuous. Perfect, perfect. But remove the word present and switch it to the past. Switch it to the past, as you can see. And here, if you have this form for the future, and is are going to, verb to be and going to, it's a form of future. How can I change this one? I will change it to be was or were going to. Was or were going to for the reported speech. And here, if you have must, if you have must, that said, that said, you must your homework. So here that said that I had to do. So here when you have the word must or the modern verb must, what is the cost of this one? Had to. Change must to be had to together with the infinitive form of the verb. And now what about other models like well, would, may, might, shall, should, can, could, together with the infinitive form of the verb, together with the infinitive form of the verb. So here are about some tenses, some tenses that you can change. And what about time and place expressions? Are there any changes for this one? Of course. Look at this table. So here, if you have the word now, in the right speech, you can change it to be then. You can change it to be then. And if you have the word today or tonight, it will be that day or that night. Today, tonight, it means that day. In the reported speech, change it to be that day or that night. And here, tomorrow, you can say the next or the following day, as you check exactly in the example that we had studied before, and here, yesterday, the same, the day before, yesterday, the day before. If you are going to use this expression, next, if you are talking about the future, next year, next month, next week, next Sunday, so here, you can say the following. When I tell you next year, change it to be the following year. Next month, change it to be the following month, and so on. Last, when you are talking about past, last year, last week, last month, last 
Sunday. So here, right, that, if you said last year, it would be the year before. Last week, it would be the week before. Last month, it would be the month before. And here, what about ago, when you have this word, ago? Three hours ago, you can change it to be three hours before. Two days ago, two days before, and so on. This, you have to change it to be that. This, you have to change it to be that. These, those. Here, there. Come, go. These are expressions you have to be careful to change them when you change from violent speech to reported speech. Some pronouns are important to be changed as well. Just like this. Can you remember I? I am changing I to be E. And sometimes she, according to the speaker. The speaker is a boy, so you can change I to be he, and you can change I to be she. The speaker is a yes, excellent, is a girl. That's a great. You as a subject pronoun. Here, he, she, or I. Just when I told you, that said you. It means, of course, that told me that I, I, and here, you. If you are talking to a boy, it will be he. If you are talking to a girl, it will be she. We. Can you remember? Salma and Sarah said that. We. So here, Salma and Sarah said that. They. Me. Give it to me. Give it to him or her. Sarah said to the baby, give it to me. So Sarah told the baby to give it to her. Give it to her, okay? And so on. If it's a boy, it will be him. And now, you as an object pronoun, it will be him, her, or me, according to the one you are speaking to. The one you are speaking, you are talking to. You are talking to. Your, it will be his, her, or my. Our, it will be their. Us, it will be. Them. Us will be them. So be careful. How we can change the pronouns from direct speech to the reported speech? Of course, it will be according to the one who is speaking or the one who is the person talking to. And now let's go to look at some kind of exercise. Correct. The underlined mistake. Correct? The underlined mistake. So here, he told that he wanted to play chess. So here this word has a mistake. Told. Oh, told. It's an important sentence. And we can use told for reported sentences. But here, why can't we use told? Very good. We cannot use told because I don't. I don't have two persons, I just have one person who is speaking, no one else was listening to him. Of course, if I want to use told, he told. Who did he tell? I cannot mention here. So here, I have to change told to be said. He said that he wanted to play chess. He said that he wanted to play chess. Another sentence. He said that the scenery is beautiful. He said that the scenery is beautiful. Oh, he said that is it direct or reported? Oh, it's a reported sentence. How did you know? He said that. Yes, this is the form of the reported sentence. So here, this verb is already in the past. So can I keep present as it is? No, I have to change it to be that. So here, he said that scenery, yes, excellent, that's great, was beautiful. That the scenery was beautiful, that's great. 
And here, another sentence, Lucinda said Yusuf that she enjoyed the movie. Uh, here, Lucinda is talking to Yusuf. So, can I say Lucinda said Yusuf that? Uh, someone can tell me? Hey, Lucinda said to Yusuf. Okay, very good. Lucinda said to Yusuf. Uh, I can accept your answer, but in just one case. Can you remember? Is a direct speech or reported speech? Oh, uh, it's reported speech. So, when I have said to in reported speech, can I use it the same? Or I have to change it? Oh, uh, we have to change it. Yes. How can we change it? Or how can, what can we use? Told. So here, Lucinda told Yusuf that she enjoyed the movie. Lucinda told Yusuf that she enjoyed the movie. Look at the last sentence. Mama told her sister that she would help him. Uh, Mama was talking to her sister. She told her sister that she would help him. Can I say him? Or her. I have to say her because here Mara was talking to the girl and she is talking to her sister. So here there are two girls. I cannot say she would help her. Of course, she would help her. She would help her. And here we have some language notes for this unit. Be careful of these language notes. You can find them and choose the correct answer or correct the mistake. Just like here, take time to, take time to, and use the base form of the verb, the infinitive form of the verb. Okay, it means that you need some time to do something. Okay. Just like, it took three hours to reach Cairo. It took three hours to reach Cairo. Another expression. Here, see, watch. Use the infinitive form or the gerund form here. Both are correct. Both are correct. Okay? So that I can tell you, I saw them playing. Or I saw them playing. Both answers here are correct. I saw them play, I saw them play. And here, remind someone who remember something. Be careful with these two expressions as well. The difference between remind and remember, the teacher always reminds us. It means the teacher always makes us remember something. Reminds us to use English in that session. He always reminds us. He always makes us remember. And look at this one. I cannot remember your name. Ah, sorry, I, I met you before, but I'm awfully sorry I cannot remember your name. So here, this is the end of our lesson today. Thank you very much. And as usual, never stop learning and I wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much dear students. Feel free to send me your questions. Thank you. See you in another lesson. Thank you very much. Goodbye.